yako. Hivi sasa moja kwa moja na kupeleka hadi katika hafla ambayo inafanyika kwa hisani ya KCB ambapo shughuli ya kutoa ufadhili kwa wanafunzi takriban elfu moja inafanyika hii leo wanafunzi ambao wanataka kujiunga na kidato cha kwanza na ufadhili huo unatoka kwa benki ya KCB. Hebu tusikilize. Kwa heri kutoka kwangu. Ahmed Muhammad, John Mwigai and Alice Kirengi. Asante sana karibu. I also want to appreciate the presence of other directors at NBK, Benedict Ngara, who is in charge of marketing. I also want to appreciate the presence of our general manager, Mr. Nyamu, majority leader as part of the partners who are here, County Assembly of, um, of Kajiado, Honorable John Lausa, CC Education, uh, KCB group team. I also want to appreciate the, sorry for that, the PS for education, Mr. Bello, Dr. Bello Kipsang, who is also present here, and all the students who are here. I also want to appreciate, um, last but not least, KCB Foundation Director, Madam Mendy Njonjo, who is also present, and also the Marketing Director and Marketing uh, in Charge um, for KCB. So I, I want to take this chance to ask the team, that we are live, that is first. Secondly, there's a journey that our education system has taken. And I'd like us to take a few minutes just to have a look at it. Then we'll pick from there. KCB Foundation continues to open doors of opportunity as it concluded selection of students for the 2024 cohort of the KCB Scholars Program. The program targeted bright and economically underprivileged students from across the 47 counties in Kenya who sat for their Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams in 2023. 1,000 slots were up for grabs across the country, and these included 100 slots for marginalized groups of students and persons with disability. There are also 50 slots set aside for talented student athletes. Interviews and trials for the 2024 cohort were conducted in 55 locations across the country, with over 10,000 candidates interviewed. The program, which has run since 2007, has supported over 4,675 students with secondary school scholarships, with an additional 1,000 slated for 2024. The scholarship package includes tuition fees, school uniform, set books, mentorship and psychosocial support. Every year, we take in about 1,000 children who are bright and needy. And what we do with this is that we want to take them through high school as well as university. So this marks a very important day in the scholarship process because this is where we have a chance to speak to the students, to interview them, uh, and then see who we can shortlist uh, for our scholarship process. KCB Foundation has been generous enough to introduce a program through their foundation, their normal education program, to be able to give a chance to young upcoming athletes who want to engage in education but also develop their talent. This is a very noble responsibility because uh, it helped the county a lot because county government has also this program. But we have realized that the number is overwhelming, that our resources cannot afford to take care of all the needy children, the bright needy children that need this help. So we are happy that KCB is taking this initiative. KCB scholars selection process across the country then moved to the home verification phase to ascertain the neediness of the shortlisted applicants. In the quiet dawn of Lake Magadi, 15-year-old Joshua Nkarasha tends to his family's livestock in Lenko Bay, Kajiado County. 
With 15 siblings and surviving on their mother's meager income, life is far from easy for Umkarasha. His mother fends for the family by crafting ornaments which she sells locally. Nkarasha got a remarkable 370 marks in his KCPE exams and dreams of being a pilot. Facing financial hurdles, he turned to the KCB Scholars Program for sponsorship. During a home visit by the KCB Scholar Selection Panel, Joshua's story unfolds a tale of resilience and hope amid immense adversity. <laughs> Now that I have got the, I've been taken by the KCB scholarship, I want to thank and thank and thank them for the good work they have done. And to my parents, I will help them to move in property by, by searching jobs that can help in their family. And in school, I will be working hard, I will be working hard so that I will, be, I will get another good performance. In the heart of Shanzu Mombasa, where dreams echo louder than challenges, another remarkable story of 15-year-old Dorotio Mwake unravels. Despite facing the challenges associated with albinism, Dorotio, a spirited soul, showed the kind of metal she's made from by scoring an impressive 317 marks in her KCP exams sat at the Likoni School for the Blind. When the KCB Scholar Selection Panel from Mombasa County came for a home verification visit at her two-roomed house she shares with her family, they ascertained that the case is indeed worthy of recommendation for sponsorship. We are glad that we've helped because she, she comes from a needy background and we really need to support her. It's very difficult for her to, to go to an integrated school me <laughs> The KCB Foundation also pioneered a groundbreaking student athletic program in 2024, offering scholarships to nurture future world-class athletes. Weenie Career from El Geo Marikwet was among the 700 talented students at the Ndura Sports Complex in Kitale Town, where athletic trials were held. Within the green fields of Kandara Muranga County, the shining star of a diligent boy beckons for all to see. This quiet and humble community holds close to its heart their golden boy. Peter Masharia, who scored an amazing 386 marks in the KCPE exams. Walking to school kilometers away and crossing a river while at it seems to be a tale told only by our forefathers, but to Peter, this is a reality. The KCB Scholars Selection Panel were in no doubt that Peter deserved the scholarship as they came for the home verification visit. My dream career na atakanga kuwa civil engineer. In the outskirts of Eldoret City in Wasingishu County, Lee Kiprop 
lives with his mother and two siblings. The house sits on a small piece of land that Lee's mother, Hilda Birgen, has been allowed to occupy by a close relative, having been pushed away from her matrimonial home after the death of her husband. Born with a disability at birth, Joyce Eckerson has been wheelchair bound all her life. While in itself a difficult life circumstance, the family lives in a makeshift hut in the Kakuma area of Turkana County in the north of Kenya. The importance of home visit is to know the background of this child, what the parents do, at least the capability of how they can assist the child, where they cannot, at least we can understand them better when we are recruiting. 13-year-old Stansin Zali hails from Titoande in Makweni County. Raised single-handedly by her resilient mother, after being abandoned by her father, Stansi's journey is nothing short of inspiring. The supportive community of teachers and well-wishers at Mtitoande Primary School rallied behind her and Stancy emerged from the KCP exams with an impressive score of 372 marks. In primary I chose Alliance Girls, but the school which I've been admitted to is Makweni Girls, but I'm also happy to go to that school because it is one of the most performing schools. I would tell the KCB Foundation that it is my thank and pleasure and I will do my best and I will not let them down. In a remote part of Onyinjo, Hama Bay County, accessible only by foot, Brian Otieno dreams of becoming a doctor, living with his uncle and bedridden aunt in a house without water or electricity. The struggle to get an education has been only too real. I may be sent home to such fees, but I may miss the exams. So teachers sometimes say they tend to pay for me fees for exam. So they also know my problem. Bura in Isiolo County is home to the heartwarming story of a young and passionate girl, Leila Bare. Despite living with disability, Leila's big heart and confidence speak to her determination to excel. Scoring 309 marks against the odds, Leila was able to raise the bar and inspire many within her locality. After witnessing the conditions they live in, the panelists were convinced that indeed Leila deserved to be recommended for sponsorship for her secondary education. Be grateful that you said that I mean, at a minute, I said that I said that when you come when you seven quadrupedal, come on, person with disability na a good discarded with a mbia disability is not in ability and is an affinity like it to come up on a shida come a young lady. These select scholars showcase the hope of 1,000 scholars who have been admitted to the 2024 cohort of the KCB Scholars Program from all 47 counties. Their future and the opportunity to change the world for better has just begun. Thank you very, very much. We want to appreciate all the stakeholders who done that. And uh, Buenasies, one thing that we pride ourselves is in the process. You've seen the process. You've seen the march that we go to identify those people who benefit. The involvement of the teams that are there. Madam Anastasia will talk about her team working with us even to the remotest place ever giving opportunity to those people who deserve the, and more importantly, the teamwork. We are here because of the teamwork. And I think our captain has emphatically uh, emphasized on that. We're going to have two students to talk about their journey as well, briefly. And I'll start with Sylvia. And remember, we are live. I want to appreciate Citizens TV for taking this opportunity as Antenna Sanon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, 
My name is Sylvia Robina. I was I was in Alliance Girls. Uh, I finished uh, last year. Uh, I scored an A. Uh, I I was a KCB Foundation beneficiary, and my journey has been well good because of KCB Foundation. And I remember when I finished uh, KCPE then in 2019, and I didn't know whether I will be able to join Alliance because it was my dream school, but my parents weren't able financially to, to pay for my, my school fees. And I remember thinking that maybe I'll, I'll end up in a day school in Kayole because that's where we live. And all hope seemed lost, but uh, I came to know, I, I applied to many scholarships. I remember it was Equity, uh, KTDA, so many. And I was hoping so much that I get one of them because I really, really wanted to join uh, Alliance. So I, I got to know about KCB Foundation from a friend of my dad's who worked with the Ministry of Education. And he connected me and I got to obtain the scholarship through the Ministry of Education. And I was very, very happy because I knew that my dream was about to come true. I was going to join Alliance, the school of my dreams. And I, I was so happy for the chance that KCB had given me to go there because without them, I probably would never have been able to go to a national school at all. And I remember joining the National School Alliance. It was, it was intimidating because everyone, everyone who's bright is there, and you are there by scholarship, and there's this pressure to do, to make your your, your sponsors proud. And I went there with knowing that this is my opportunity, this is my chance, and I knew that KCB Foundation was with me, holding my hand, and I just had to make it work. And KCB Foundation has been very helpful throughout my high school uh, journey. They have helped me, apart from financially, they have catered for my needs psychologically, if I may say, because through the mentorship programs and, and the times that we went here to the foundation, they taught us so many things about high school, how to navigate through studies, through social life in high school. So apart from being uh, aided financially, they have been so supportive psychologically. And I thank them so much because without them, I would not be here. And I would like to encourage my fellow students, those who have just joined KCB Foundation, that KCB Foundation is a worthy partner. They have been so nice. And I know that they are, uh, sorry, I know that your interaction with them will be very nice. At the end of your four year journey, you will look back and thank KCB Foundation for everything that they have done for you because they will hold your hand just like they did mine. And I know their support doesn't end here now that I'm done with KCSC. They will help me through my university and I'm very thankful for them. To them. So yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Next, I would like to call on Felix. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Felix Alpha. Uh, I managed to finish from Maranda High School. I managed uh, an A minus of 80 points. Um, I start my KCPE uh, in the year 2019, and I was privileged to attend Maranda uh, under the scholarship offered by KCB Foundation. I can say that my experience has been a fulfilling one. Uh, I've learned a lot through my four-year academic journey. Uh, KCB has been there to cater for my school fees my pocket money, and uh, I know that the, it does not end there. They'll continue to be with me up until the end 
where I'll be able also to, to give back to the society. Uh, to my fellow uh, students who are about to join their high school, uh, my encouragement to you is that be steadfast, uh, steer clear of uh, uh, things that may derail you from achieving your success in high school. Uh, such things will be as uh, drug abuse and whatnot. So I encourage you to embrace KCB Foundation. It's your new family and it will be there with you till the end. I'd also like to appreciate the KCB Foundation because without it, uh, I will not be standing before you right now. Uh, it has been a very good experience, by the way. And uh, I'd like to urge you guys to study hard and you'll also be in this same position as I today. Uh, I believe that is all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Felix. Without wasting much time, I want to appreciate your presence. We give opportunity to students, but for every opportunity, there is a responsibility to it. So you have a responsibility to perform and to give um, back to the society in that opportunity. So without wasting time, I want to introduce the director KCB Foundation, uh, Mendy Njonjo, even as she comes. I want us to appreciate her. She joined us last year. She's given us a run for the process. Yes, please use this. Um, and more importantly, giving us the direction on where and how foundation needs to, needs to run. Karibu sana, Mendy. Good morning, everybody. Oh, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. The Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogo, the PS, Dr. Belio Kipsang, Ministry of Education officials present, Board Chair, KCB Foundation, Director Ahmed Mohammed, KCB Foundation Board Members, Dr. J uh, Mr. Joe Mugai, uh, Alice Kirenge, Anastasia Kimtai, uh, Rosalind Gishiro, colleagues from KCB, parents and guardians, and our very important guests today, the KCB Scholars Class of 2024. Good afternoon. Today is a very happy day, and it gives me great pleasure to join us this afternoon as we flag off the next generation of leaders to various high schools across the countries under the KCB Scholars Program. And I would like to congratulate each and every one of you students for remaining resilient and pushing forward with your studies despite all odds and excelling in KCPE. At KCB, we believe that doors open opportunities for students, their families, their communities, as well as the country out there. And education is truly the key that is going to unlock opportunities for everybody. So today, we mark a very important milestone in this program. We are flagging off the 17th year of the KCB Scholars Program. And through these scholarships, what we have been doing is enhancing access to inclusive, equitable, as well as high quality education. And this aligns with the UN Sustainable Develop Goal, Development Goal, uh, the fourth UN Sustainable Development Goal. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, education has been a very priority mandate for KCB since, especially for the foundation since, it, since its inception in 2007. And this decision was informed by the role that education has in terms of being a transformative enabler to accessing better socioeconomic standards and living for all. As such, the KCB Foundation, we really support bright, very bright students, very talented students, like the ones you're seeing gathered here today who are all wearing black t-shirts. Students like this, who we believe given just a small helping hand, that's all they need, 
a little assistance, they are going to have the chance to unlock a really positive future. So today, through the KCB Scholars Program, over 1,000 scholars from all 47 counties are currently going to join the about 2,700 students who are currently enrolled in our program. And they will also be receiving tertiary scholarships to join institutions of higher learning thereafter. And to ensure that these opportunities go to the most deserving students, we conduct nationwide recruitment of our scholars after the release of the KCSE exam results. And by nationwide, we mean in all 47 counties. We go everywhere we need to be as a program. This also includes home visits and assessments. And I'd like to really take this opportunity to thank each and every one of our partner members, and especially our KCB family because without them volunteering their Saturdays, their free time to go do assessments, this program would not have been possible. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. So to ensure equity, we've allocated 100 affirmative action slots to persons with disabilities, students rescued from FGM and early marriage, teen mothers, and also students from areas with high poverty indexes. In 2022, You'll note we revamped our KCB scholarship program to serve as a pathway to employment. So starting this year, a section of our students shall get a three-month apprenticeship in as many KCB branches as possible throughout the country following the release of the KCSE results. And this year, as you also saw in the video, we are piloting an athletic scholarship program that will provide scholarship opportunities to talented athletic uh, students to allow them to nurture and to grow their talent into world-class athletes under the KCB scholarship program. And the criteria for qualification remains the same. We give this to the most talented, to the brightest, and to the most deserving. The Students Athletes Program is premised on one thing. We don't believe students should make a choice between athletics or education. That is why we started that program. So we have selected about 50 athletic students uh, to join the KCB Scholars Class of 2024, which you'll be glad to know is aligned to the CBC curriculum with the aim of extending it uh, to other sports uh, in the near future. So we acknowledge the partners without whose assistance this program would not have been possible. And we are very grateful for their assistance in making this happen. So to the class of 2024, to all of you who are sitting here in black t-shirts, we congratulate you for your exemplary performance. Please know there is something very, very special in, in each and every one of you. It is what has allowed you to excel. It is what has allowed you to be sitting here in this room. And we would like to make sure, I would like to make sure that you never ever forget that this something that you have, this very, very special, this very, very special thing that you have, is something that is going to propel you even into your secondary school and into your future. So I urge you to please embrace this opportunity wholeheartedly, like Sylvia and Felix said. Please take advantage of this opportunity to excel in all spheres of life. So at KCB, you see our logo is for people for better, right? So we want you to excel not just academically, but also physically, mentally, socially, spiritually, and to make sure you do this with integrity. So through this scholarship, as I'm sure you've been informed, you will access mentorship from KCB staff, in addition to fees payment, uniforms, books, and transport. I also would like to take this opportunity to very, very warmly welcome you to the KCB family. Anywhere you see the KCB colors, Anywhere you see the KCB lion, that is your home. So please know this is your bank. So ladies and gentlemen, KCB remains committed to transforming lives and enabling progress within our communities as a way of creating shared prosperity in this country. And through the KCB Foundation, we remain committed to empowering Kenyan youth to realize their full potential and to unlock their potential, their contribution towards the development of this country. And with those relatively few remarks, it gives me very great pleasure to welcome our group CEO, Mr. Paul Russo, to give his remarks. Thank you.
the cabinet secretary for ministry of education honorable ezekiel machogu the ps for education dr belio kipsang cc for education for kajiado county the majority leader for kajiado county assembly the group board members present um, the kcb foundation directors uh, present colleagues uh, scholars parents ladies and gentlemen good afternoon backbenchers can you hear me asante I'm really delighted to be here this morning to extend my gratitude to you. Bonasias, thank you for joining us to commission the 2024 KCB scholarship beneficiaries. As Sylvia and Felix have just uh, articulated, we do not just wake up and sponsor people and drop them out after this education. And this scholarship, yes, they are confident and standing here because they know they'll be sponsored to the university. And to, to it. That's what the promise we're making to the people that are here. <laughs> it's important that as you sponsor children who have ambition, you give them a promise and a guarantee of the next step. So if you make to the university, we'll sponsor to the university. If you make to a college, we'll sponsor to a college. If you make to Tivet, we'll sponsor to a Tivet. That is the commitment. So you're not alone. And Sylvia and Felix, that is actually the core message. I can actually drop off from here after making that message. Because holding somebody's hand and as a beneficiary, I'm always very clear to say this, I'm a beneficiary of sponsorship by Food for the Hungry International. Christian Children Fund, as well as community, uh, you know, community sponsorship. So it's, ex it's really exciting to be around young, aspiring and ambitious people, specifically passionate about youth em empowerment. And about us years, a majority of the people working in KCB are young and amazingly innovative uh, colleagues. Most of the products that we have in the bank are actually developed by our colleagues. I'm particularly impressed by the impact we are creating in the society, giving tens of youths an opportunity to not only dream, but to achieve these dreams. Truly, if it wasn't for education, a number of us will not be where we are today. And it's also true, if it wasn't for for many of us, if it wasn't for somebody lifting up, somebody sacrificing something for us, we wouldn't be here. And the best thing to do is to give back, create a pool of more people to be able to give back. So young ladies and, uh, and boys, girls and boys in the room, as we extend this sponsorship, we will also be asking that you lift other people down downstream as you as you grow ladies and gentlemen at kcb we are guided by our brand purpose and brand purpose for people for better in every single interaction that kcb has with anybody our objective is to leave them better it speaks to the very core of who we are and what we stand for a financial institution that is passionate about improving lives creating positive change and giving everyone a reason to believe we are just more than a bank. We are enablers of dreams and architects of possibilities. As such, we have intentionally invested in the education sector as a catalyst towards youth empowerment and securing a better future for this country. And I just pause there to say, you know, it's not route to employment. It's route for you to be able to apply your mind, your heart and hand to make a meaningful change in whatever you learned. I think it's a, many times people have confused education and uh, said it is about getting to employment. Yes, that's just one avenue. But if it gives you skills to do things that those who have not gone to school don't have, then you'll have made meaningful change. In this regard, the KCB scholarship program serves as a powerful tool for promoting sustainable development and social impact as it creates a pathway for underprivileged students who would otherwise drop out of school to realize their potential, contribute to social progress, and actively participate in shaping 
a sustainable and inclusive future. Similarly, the KCB scholarship program is our effort towards supporting the government's goal of attaining 100% transition from primary to secondary school. I'm happy to note that since inception, 4,657 students have benefited from the inclusive KCB Foundation scholarship drawn from across Kenya's 47 counties. And, and it's important to, 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 to stress that word inclusive. You've seen how far our colleagues go to look out to make sure that we cover everyone and make sure we give a fair chance. Since the program inception in 2007, we have paid a total of 1.2 billion in school fees with 99% completion rate and 84% transition rate to university. 84%. So this is just a representative. So if, uh, if my mathematics, if I was in the classroom and I wasn't studying from the window in mathematics, 84% of you from past experience will go to the university. Sing amen. 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 May the number be higher than that next time. We have also engaged 537 secondary schools supporting these students countrywide. In fact, the major part about this uh, program is that we identify teachers to mentor in those schools. We also link the branch nearest to that school to provide mentorship. Because we have 205 branches in KCB Kenya, across this country. In each branch, we have an average of 10 resources. There is something those people, colleagues of ours can impart to these children and watch over them as a journey. That is the contribution that our team members need to make to these kids. And they do. This year's KCB Foundation will support 1,000 kids, making up to 2024 uh, scholarship cohort. But I think the major change, uh, CS, for this year is we have started a program for athletes. Children that want to go and study, but they want to also compete. So we'll have kids in E10. In schools in E10, we'll have kids in was in Gishu, we'll have kids in Transoya, 50. This is the first time, we'll scale it up. Because as you pursue your education, you should not lose the other opportunity, isn't it? Right? So it's important that as, and we'll scale that up, yes, because there must be opportunity also for rugby kids. And there are schools that are very good in rugby. There are schools that are very good in football, we know that. I think one of them must be St. Anthony's, is it? In Kitale, right? We should create opportunities to be able to, 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 to sponsor children to pursue that. That's the only way then we'll enable them to build their talents. We also partnered, I think it's important again that this, is deliv this delivery uh, CS is just not by ourselves. So we have, we have partners who have seen that this program is important. I think there is, we, we do have uh, KenGen as part of this program, right? Um, we do have uh, Shovko and um, National Council of Persons with Disabilities. Over and above this scholarship, uh, scholarship uh, court uh, CS, last year we partnered with Mangu to scale its aviation training program that will see hundreds of students benefit in the next five years. We're getting that my Boeing 737, if I'm not wrong, from, in partnership with others from, with, from Kenya Airways. So that, uh, and maybe I'm conflicted there because I studied aviation, I thought I could be a pilot, but uh, sometimes it's good to have very high ambitions. Uh, but at least you can see a plane, something that looks like a plane, and you can go in and see the seats, and you can go in and see where the pilot sits, isn't it? It's going to be important to, to deliver something like that. But important as CS, we have also partnered with Codris Africa to offer coding lessons at discounted rates and allow KCB customers the option to pay in installments. Codris Africa has been approved by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development to roll out the first coding courses for primary and secondary school learners. KCB currently supports over 40,000 learning institutions We've invested around 12, 
112 million in construction and renovation of classrooms, dormitories, laboratories, and sanitary blocks. We've also issued 70 million green loans to fund LPG loans to schools that are transitioning to sustainable energy solutions. Through the KCB Foundation to Giajiri program, we provide youth with technical skills, training, and business development support to set up their own enterprises. We also work hand in hand with these youth, helping them to grow in their businesses to stability and serve as an avenue for creating employment for others. We continue to engage and in partnership with the Ministry of Education and learning institution to provide the necessary support, ensuring that our youth have access to education. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to address the students directly. KCB's dedication to creating shared prosperity is driven by our Ubuntu spirit. Perfectly expressed as I am because we are. The scholarship you've earned and you've earned is not just for financial support, it is our belief in your capabilities and our commitment to your journey towards success. You have demonstrated remarkable potential, dedication, and promise that has earned you the opportunity to be here today. We will continue to invest in you because we believe in your capacity to shape not only your future, but also the nation of Kenya positively. As I conclude, your hard work brought you here and your continued hard work will propel you to further towards your future success. Please stay focused on your dreams and you'll surely achieve them. Bonasias, thank you once again for gracing uh, you know, this occasion and for your presence. I now invite the PS to make brief remarks and invite you to speak to the cohort. I thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Group CEO, the Cabinet Secretary for Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machoku, the Group Executive, Chief Executive KCB, all protocols observed, our chief guests today, the scholars, and our teachers, if they are in here. I would want to take this early opportunity to most sincerely thank KCB for having been one of the most strong partners in the education sector. I would also want to most sincerely thank you for believing and trusting the future and therefore investing in the young ones. I can assure you that you will get the best returns in this investment. I have seen our two young ones who have just cleared their KCSE and you can see the fruits of your investment. You are anchoring the future of this country and anchoring the future of humanity. So once again, KCB, thank you very much. As for our scholars, congratulations for earning this scholarship. But I would want to tell you, it's not about the earning, it's about the sustaining, so that we can be able to sustain these scholarships for the next four years and into the future by ensuring that as you go into the tertiary education, you'll be able to be supported into that particular future. Today is for the CS to be able to commission. But once again, KCV, thank you very much for making sure that we widen inclusivity